You are wondering how those edits on social medias are so smooth, but you are just a cap cut editor and want to make something similar like After Effects editors. Well, don't worry, because in this video, I will show you full guide with smooth different twixters, graphs, zooms, and bonus add-ons, which will make your edit look more smoother and interesting. Hello, editors. Welcome back. And today, I'm going to explain everything you need to know to level up your editing skills, to finally become a better editor and get viral on TikTok or YouTube with just these simple edits. But before that, like this video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Graphs adjust the speed between two keyframes, making transitions or zooms smoother. Here, in CapCut, you can select a graph by your choice. But to make sure the zooms or transitions are smooth, you need to use smooth graphs as well, like Easy In, Quad In, Easy Out, Quad Out. Or if you want to achieve this type of zooms, then Flow 2. It's better to apply one of these graphs instead of keeping it basic with the linear graph. We will be doing zooms later, so I will show you my custom graphs to get these smooth transitions after Twixter. I already explained how Twixter works and how to do it on CapCut in this tutorial, so I will leave a link in the description. I recommend to watch it after this video. Simply and concisely, you slow down the clip, adjust the length to the beat, and apply Twixter by selecting better quality here. But now, we are taking this to the next level with speed curves or speed graphs. I honestly think all of these cap cut curves suck, and since there's many ways to create a Twixter, I will just show you few custom curves which you can utilize for your actual edit. Just to inform, these curves are mostly for Woodle style, so you can search on social media for some curves according to your editing style, or if you just don't like these. You can even create your own if you want. Or go with the lazy way and do the basic Twixter, which I'm using too, and that's 0.4 or 0.3 speed. Now let's take these informations into actions. In the preview, you could see also head tracking, but first things first, we will start with the simple zoom in and zoom out. So I have prepared three clips with audio, and what we're gonna start with is adding or generating the beats to the song. After that, click on the clip and head to speed. Here, choose what twixter you want, rather the normal or speed graphs, that's on you. I'm going with normal. Then, as I said before, set it to either 0.3 or 0.4 speed, depends how fast is the clip originally. Adjust the length to the beat. Tip for you guys, if you're gonna use speed curve, don't split the clip because the curve gonna mess up. Just simply move it. Anyways, apply better quality aka Twixter. Now add two keyframes at the start and at the end of the clip. Go to Basics and scale it by 80. Don't forget to center it at both keyframes. This is Zoom In, if you would like Zoom It Out, scale it by 80 at the first keyframe. Another tip, if the clip is really short, like less than 0.3 seconds, scaling it by 80 is too much, don't you think? In this situation, just scale it by 30 or 60 would be enough. All right, let's continue. Now click on Graphs and go with either Flow 2 or one of my custom ones, which I think they are better. This is my main graph. And this is my side graph. Whatever fits you the best, we are done. Now the head tracking zoom in and out. Okay, start off by changing the speed or adding the speed curve. Then go to camera tracking and select face. If CapCut doesn't recognize the face, click on custom and mark the face. Wait, you don't have pro. Don't worry because here comes my Discord server. Tons of editing resources such as overlays, sound effects, presets, cracked programs, apps such as CapCut Pro. Yes, you heard me, CapCut Pro for free, which I'm using right now. Go get it, I will put a link in the description or in the comments. Back to the tutorial. After the tracking process, you can even edit it if it's something tracks wrong. And if these bars show up, you can turn them off by either clicking on Fit Canvas or solve it by just scaling the clip how much it needs. 
Then just make the zoom in or out, apply Twixter, Graph, and you are done. Don't forget to center it at both keyframes. And to not be too boring, I have prepared for you three effects which you can add to your edit. Number one, tremor strobe. Just disable glow and you are done. Number two, camera shake. Disable range and adjust speed how you want, but I recommend to keep it in low numbers. Number three, chrome blur. Ensure aberration is at 50 and set the blur however you like. It creates blur at the edges, making it look more smoother. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. It will help a lot. Let me know if this tutorial helped you and comment down below what tutorial should I do next. Any problems with CapCut? Still confused? Don't hesitate to ask. Alright everybody, see you in the next one. Peace.